Whoever said Microsoft is not a fun company must not have ever seen a Steve Ballmer presentation. Developers, 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 developers! <laughs> On the other hand, fun and insane are two different words with completely different meanings, but look, I don't really know where this is going. I just need an intro for a Windows 10 Easter egg video. No, no, I said Windows. Okay, great. These are fun Windows 10 secrets, Easter eggs, and or tricks. Let's get them. Okay, so the first one is not necessarily exclusive to Windows, but it's really cool nonetheless. In 1993, a company called id Software released a little old game for MS-DOS called Doom. You may have heard of it. It was actually kind of popular. So much that in 1995, it was estimated that the game was installed on more computers than Microsoft's latest operating system, Windows 95. Well, Old Main Gates was having none of that, so at one point he thought, I don't have to take this shit. I can buy this game. I can buy their whole goddamn company if I want to. In the end, that didn't happen, but in cooperation with id Software, Microsoft did develop a Windows 95 port for Doom. As a little Easter egg, the developers assigned the number of the beast as the game's network port. Fast forward to today, hidden in its directories, Windows has an abbreviated list of port numbers for well-known services. And if you know where to look, you can find a nod to the Doom port, probably as an acknowledgement to the game which pretty much kick-started Windows as a gaming platform. Next, we have a CMD Star Wars movie. Here's how to find it. First off, you want to press the Windows and R keys on your keyboard to open the run box. Then you want to head over to the description of this video and copy the following command, paste it here, hit enter, there we go. Now, in this little window, you want to scroll down until you find the entry for Telnet Client and just put a check mark in the box next to it and click OK. Then you want to open up the run box again and type telnettowel.blinkinlights.nl. Again, all this will be in the description, so you can just copy and paste it, hit enter, sit back, and enjoy, nerds. Speaking of movie franchises, you can find a little Hobbit slash Lord of the Rings Easter egg if you go over to Settings, Ease of Access, and then click on Closed Captions. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to that, so let's just move along. Now, Cortana may not be as clever as the Google Assistant, but nevertheless, you can still play a couple of games with it. For example, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh well. At least she's consistent. Just like the Google Assistant, Cortana can also flip a coin. It may not have fancy animations, but I guess it does the job. Oh, and also, you can ask her for some movie trivia. You can either type these commands in the text box or use voice commands. However, if you want to do the voice thing, you're going to have to go into settings, privacy, speech, and then activate the online speech recognition feature here. By the way, I don't recommend keeping this on at all times, so unless you're something like a hardcore Cortana person, just turn it off after you're done. God mode. Now, this is one that sounds much more dramatic than it actually is, but in reality, it's just a thing, I guess. I'll just show you. In order to access it, you first need to create a folder somewhere on your system and then give it a special name which you can find in the description. Once you hit enter to apply the name, the folder icon will turn into a control panel icon which you can then double click in order to access a sort of expanded management center slash control panel. Now, due to its dramatic name, this feature has inspired a lot of YouTube videos with titles that make it seem like you're unlocking some sort of divine power when in reality, you're not getting access to anything that you don't already have at your disposal through other menus. But if you would like to have a bunch of program tasks available to you in one place, eh, I guess it's nice. Windows 10 also has a bunch of emojis all in one place, and you can access them if you hold down the Windows and period keys on your keyboard. Besides that, you also have Japanese kaomoji, as well as symbols which you can use in pretty much any application you'd like. Okay, let's shake... what? Let's shake things up a bit. Did I write that? Whatever. If you have a bunch of apps and windows open, you can get rid of the clutter by grabbing a window and giving it a little shake. That will actually minimize every window aside from the one you just shook. To bring them all back, just shake it again, and there you go. Here's another way you can shut down your computer. First open up the File Explorer, and then go over to Local Disk C, Windows, System32, and then delete that shit. Just kidding. Then type slide in the search box, hit enter, and that should bring up the slide to shut down exe file, which you can copy somewhere like your desktop, or just pin it to the start menu. 
Double clicking or clicking on the file, depending on where you saved it, will give you the slide to shut down option, which I really don't know why you would use, unless you're using something like a touchscreen device, in which case, I guess it could be convenient. Here's a trick that may come in handy in particular cases, like when you make certain system changes that require you to do a system log off and on. Hold down the control and shift keys on your keyboard and right click somewhere on the taskbar. At the bottom of the menu, you should see an option called Exit Explorer. When you click on this option, some windows may remain open, but your desktop will pretty much be gone. And now you can buy a new computer. Calm down, I'm just kidding. Now, we could bring everything back to normal by doing a system log off and log on, but that would defeat the whole purpose. So instead, what we're gonna do is hit Control Shift Escape, which will bring up the task manager. If it looks like this, just click on more details, then go up to file and click on run new task. Then type explorer.exe, click okay, and breathe. I didn't break your computer for the second time, I hope. And before we go, just one more trick that you might find useful. Open up Notepad and in the first line, type in .log in all caps. Now, every time you save changes in that file, Notepad will add a log with the time and date when the changes were saved. While we're in Notepad, there's actually a bunch of neat things you can do with the help of Batch and Visual Basic scripts. Now, since those aren't really Windows Easter eggs as much as they are little programs that you can write yourself, I'm not gonna show you any in this video, but if you'd like, you can click on the card in the top right to watch a video I already made about that. Anyway, that would be all for today. If you like what you see, let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and we might even milk this baby even further. Also, follow me on Twitter if you'd like to see a Vsauce slash LTT slash internet historian wannabe ramble and post a bunch of mediocre tech memes. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.